Hello and welcome to DB at the Movies, where it is time to announce the inaugural winners of the Matthew Lillard Outstanding Achievement in Horror Award. Uh, before I get into the winners, I wanted to just point out a couple of examples of going a little too far with it and, you know, what the difference is between a Lillard Award winner and a Lillard Award loser. Um, that's not to say that these performances don't have their own merits, of course. I know there are probably people that enjoy them, but for me, it just goes a little too far in what, uh, what I expect a Lillard Award winner to be. So, first up, unfortunately, Scream 2, Timothy Oliphant as Mickey, um, kind of just slides right into the Lillard, Lillard role for the sequel, um, and you can tell he's really going for it. He's revealed to be uh, one of the killers. And he tries to follow the formula step by step. He tries to follow the, okay, now I'm going to dial it up. I'm going to really go crazy. And he gives one of the most incredible line readings that I can remember ever hearing in a movie. Not just a horror movie, because those are full of questionable choices acting wise. But I have thought about the way he delivers this line so much more than I should probably be admitting. Mrs. Loomis? What? Billy's mother! Nice twist, huh? Didn't see it coming, did you? It just, it sticks with me. I don't know. Um, and unfortunately, yeah, it just kind of felt like he watched a lot of Scream 1 and was like, all right, I'm coming for that corner, like... That's the dude. I gotta, I gotta top that. Next up, we have um, John Voight as Paul in Anaconda. Now, if you've seen Anaconda, this probably doesn't need much uh, explanation. Um, the accent choice is horrific. The mannerisms are questionable. And it all just adds up to just an unbelievable, like, I can't believe what I'm watching right now performance. <laughs> Think I'm stupid? I can blow in 10 minutes. Sorry if uh, you're feeling sensitive. We could turn around and lose two days. It's up to you. Um, the less I say about it, the better. I don't know what to tell you, but there are ways to mine enjoyment out of this performance. Um, but it's, it's, it's rough. It's going for it, but it's going a little too, too far too much no one someone should have been there to be like hey john 10 percent less dial it back just a little bit buddy like come on and this last one i don't know if it's bad or good it's kind of up to interpretation of the viewer um but matthew mcconaughey in texas chainsaw massacre the next generation as vilmer where he is just it's an early performance so maybe give him the benefit of the doubt on that one but he is just going for it. Let me ask you one question. Are you having fun here? Because oh, I promise you, I promise you, you and I are going to have some fun. Oh, no, no, please, no. Like, and it's funny because you do get glimpses of the things that make him such a big star now. Like the charisma, the watchability, the star power. Like, you can kind of see it all coming through. It's just like hitting you at full but like he had not learned how to contain the essence of mcconaughey and like distribute it in appropriate uh portions so this movie is just pure uncut mcconaughey straight to your veins and some people are into that and that's okay i just thought i would put it here as an example of you know kind of what we're looking for when it comes to these performances uh so now the moment everyone's been waiting for. The first recipients of the Matthew Lillard Award. Uh, first up, we are going to um, present this award to Jeffrey Rush for his performance as Stephen Price in the remake of The House on Haunted Hill. Now, Jeffrey Rush is an accomplished, award-winning actor. He has multiple Academy Awards, I believe. He has a career that spans decades and still... There might not be a better chance to watch him have tons of fun making a movie than watching him basically just channel Vincent Price for 90 minutes in the remake of House on Haunted Hill. A 
from here on, it gets really scary. As the eccentric billionaire Stephen Price, he is just full tilt, scenery chewing from start to finish, basically. Um, every line reading is as dramatic as it can be. He's clearly there to just ham it up and have fun. And it's tough because the cast has a hard time matching his level. Like, he really just blows people off of the screen as, as the situations ramp up and you see him just going for it more and more. And that's what this award is all about. Like, House on Haunted Hill, the remake, is not a very good movie, but it's one that you will watch as long as you're seeing the Jeffrey Rush scenes because that's how good he is in this movie. That's how entertaining he is. Um, and we are going to take that same energy and we are going to transfer it over to our next award recipient, Malcolm McDowell as Samuel Loomis in Rob Zombie's Halloween, uh, the first one, 2007, I want to say. Th this movie is a trip. Um, not a lot of things in it that you could call fun or joyful. It's a pretty humorless remake, and it's pretty brutal, and like a like a lighthouse in the ocean, Malcolm McDowell is there to guide us in safely and to keep things from going off the rails too far. Now, this is tough because Malcolm McDowell is also an example of what not to do for the Halloween 2 sequel, where his Samuel Loomis is basically just like cashing in and embracing fame and just becomes like a celebrity kind of dickhead and it's too far he's having fun but like it's just kind of like why did you take this character and and do this to him um but the, the first movie it's not like he's per se like overacting or really going for it but he like blasts into these scenes like with the most watchability of anyone and he really like grounds this movie that could just be such a heavy intense downer and interpretation it's a grimy dirty like I don't know what else to use to describe it like the Halloween reboot is just a really brutal relentless interpretation of the first Halloween which I think is the best horror movie ever made and so, you know, Malcolm McDowell is probably one of the only actors I can think of that would be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the original Donald Pleasant's performance uh, as Samuel Loomis. Well, actually, black isn't a color, is it? It's the absence of color and the spectrum of colors. You go from black, which is no color, all the way through to white, which is every color. And for that reason, Pretty much alone, he, he is here, and he is well-deserving of his status. Uh, and this last one, um, truly incredible, because I had to look up the character's name uh, before recording this, and it goes to Donald Logue as Quinn in the first Blade movie. Now, Blade is the first real, like, Marvel movie that kind of changed how these movies were getting made. It was R-rated, it was very bloody, it was a ton of fun. It's still a ton of fun to watch now. That really the first two. I'm not going to go so far as to say Trinity, but the first two are really good, entertaining comic book movies. And Blade One has Donald Logue, who you may know from almost every movie ever. He pops up in so many things, but he was in um, the show Grounded for Life. He was in the show Gotham as Harvey Bullock. He was in The Patriot. And he's in all sorts of movies and shows. He pops up in bit parts here and there. But as Quinn, he is clearly having a ball. He is going crazy. His one-liners are off the charts. He's a more entertaining character to watch than Deacon Frost. Like, I enjoy the scenes where he's just, like, going crazy and talking stupid and firing off more than I enjoy, like, the heavy Steven Dorff scenes. And I know, you know, main villain versus side character, there's a bit more freedom there. But, like, when I rewatch Blade, I'm kind of dialed in on what Donald Logue is doing here. You took my arm, man. Remember? But it's cool. I got a new one. <laughs> Think I'll ever play piano again? <laughs> you can slice him, you can dice him, but the Queen Man just keeps on coming! And that, to me, it fits the spirit of the Lillard Awards, where you want that side character that really 
pushes themselves to the top of the conversation. Um, so that is that is it. Those are the first three recipients of this prestigious award. Um, if you have performances and actors that you would like to nominate for the Matthew Lillard Award, please leave them in the comments. Let me know. Um, I will try to do another one or two of these videos before the month is over, uh, depending on how how people like it, how you like it. Uh, so let me know, please. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will be back soon.